Hello there. We've got a safe one for you today, so enjoy. Or whatever you do with this recording in the database. Seriously, I have no clue where this goes. <laughs> Item number SCP-014. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-014 is to be kept in sight classified in a chair with arms, preferably facing a window. Music should be supplied on a regular basis, preferably constantly. This music should not include pieces originating after 1937. A security camera should be present in SCP-014's room. Description SCP-014 is a Caucasian male appearing to be approximately 30 years of age, with black hair, brown eyes and a somewhat round face. Records indicate his name to be Robert Chetford, confined in 1915 to the Norwich Asylum in Connecticut, for delusional insanity, claiming that he had been cursed to live forever, and was slowly turning into concrete in consequence. The asylum closed in 1937, and the patients were transferred to various other facilities. SCP-014 came to the Foundation's attention in 19... From rumours of a patient who seemed to be entirely mo immobile and showed no signs of ageing. Further investigation determined that acquisition was warranted. SCP-014 is to all outward appearances a normal man, but he does not appear to age and shows no signs of possessing a metabolism. He does not eat, drink, perspire or any other way to demonstrate life functions. He breathes only to speak and apart from his eyes and vocal apparatus, is to all appearances utterly immobile. He has never shown any evidence of pressure ulcers despite his position not having varied for several decades. Neither do his muscles appear atrophied. He can converse normally, but shows little knowledge of or interest in events since his confinement. Addendum Note Frankly, were I to interview this man without knowing his history, I'd think he was a perfectly sane and well-adjusted individual who happens to be a quadriplegic. As it is, I have to conclude that he's the ultimate proof of the idea that the mind rules the body. He thinks he's concrete and will live forever, and so he's as close to both as he can be, somehow. Dr. Asifard. That's it for this one. Uh, is he even alive at that point? Isn't he's just sitting there? I mean, put a video game in front of him. That might be better than what he's actually doing at the moment. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like to live like that at all. So if I ever turn out to like that, please find a way to kill me. <laughs> anyway, bye bye.